G'day and welcome to Todd's Kitchen. One of my favourite shows on TV right now is Dexter. And when a friend of mine from the States, a fellow YouTuber called Scrappy Ape, showed me this recipe from a website the other day, I just couldn't resist it. I have to do it. So join me today as we make Dexter Blood Slides. Okay, I've got a pot on the stove on a low to medium heat, so into that we're going to place in a cup of sugar, one third a cup of glucose syrup or corn syrup, and about two tablespoons of water. And we're just going to continuously stir this until the sugar is completely dissolved. Okay, once it starts bubbling, we're not going to stir it anymore. We're just going to let it bubble away. It's going to take about five to ten minutes. Now I'm going to use a candy thermometer. I highly recommend them. They're, they're very cheap and <laughs> makes life so much easier. So the temperature we're going for is 150 degrees Celsius, or about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a hard crack candy. Now, if you don't currently have a thermometer or you don't wish to buy one, another way to do it is just when it starts to turn just slightly brown, when it changes, it starts to change colour. That's when you take it off as well. But honestly, I do recommend that you buy a thermometer because it does, makes it just that little bit much better. One last tip while you're doing it, just use a wet brush and just brush the outsides every now and then. Just where you see the sugar forming on the side. This will just prevent sugar crystals from forming. Okay, as you can see, it's started to change color. So we're going to take it straight off the heat. Okay, so I've got a baking tray here lined with non-stick baking paper. So what we're going to do now is Grab our toffee mixture and I'm just going to pour it straight on. And quickly before it sets, just going to slowly pour it out just so it covers the whole base. And remember, these are slides, so you want them to be relatively thin. Okay, so once you've spread it out as much as you can, we're going to leave this here for about a good hour to two hours just so it can cool down completely and harden. Okay, so it's been a few hours. As you can see it's nice and hard, so it's going to flip this over. So it's, it's relatively thin, as you can see, which is good. Now, to cut this. Now, the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to use a large knife and a brulee torch. So, what we'll do is just heat up the blade. You obviously don't want to do this to one of your good knives because it's, it's never good for the knife itself. So we're going to heat that up. And that's where we're going to start. Just cutting straight down. Okay, so they've come up pretty good. Yeah, they're not perfect but they will still be effective, and that's what counts. Um, they are slightly yellow, which is exactly how I wanted it, to be honest. You can have it so it's lighter, but you'll find that after a day, even half a day, to be honest, they'll start to droop and fall apart, as in, they'll, they just won't hold their shape. So you need that hard rock consistency. And next, I've just got some red food coloring and a wooden skewer. So now it's just a simple matter of grabbing your wooden skewer, get the flat end, Gonna dip it in the red food coloring and we're just gonna circle around a red blood dot right in the middle and there we have them our edible Dexter blood slides now they turned out pretty good considering now I've never said that I was an expert when it comes to rock hard candy but for a home cook like myself there are some slight imperfections, but I'll tell you what, they're, they're really effective and they look really good. I guarantee you, serve these to your friends, they, who, especially on a night of Dexter, they're going to love them. They really, really well. But you know what the important thing about these sides are? They look simply delish. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. A list of ingredients is now below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus pages. Please share me the love by giving me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.